Shout out to Marco Pedrana, AMG, Alfredo Jr., Dan Real, Big Mantis, Christopher Gray, Mata Alcusa, Nathan Arseno, and Touch My Dilly. Welcome back in Wicking family to another F1 Clash video, and we're here for the Easter event. Happy Easter to everyone coming up this weekend. Uh, for those of you who celebrate Easter, happy Easter. Uh, yeah, so we're here for the Easter event. <laughs> Let's jump straight into it. Oh, before we jump into the Easter event, we have hit 16k subs. Really appreciate you guys, all your support, all of you guys who have subscribed to the channel. All of you who are not yet subscribed, remember to subscribe, turn on your post notifications. Also remember to smash the like button on this video. Let's get this video up in likes. I really appreciate you guys. Can't believe it, we're at 16k subs. Uh, we'll be doing a giveaway uh, pretty soon. Uh, the link will be post. Uh, I'm going to be mixing it with an end of season giveaway. So I'll be having a lot of prizes to give away. 600 bucks, some legendary crates and so on uh, in the giveaway. So stick around for that. You'll see the link post on the community section. And in the, some of these videos when the giveaway starts. Alright. So yeah. Congrats. Thank you guys again. <laughs> for all your support. Let's jump straight into this event. Alright, so we're using Kimi and Vettel. No, we're not using Kimi and Vettel. We're using Signs uh, and Vettel uh, for this event. Let's go enter and then we'll jump on into our first race. Champions Division times two rewards as well. There we go. So we're going to be doing our first two races. Oh, look at that. Only one, two, three, four, five persons in this group. So we're going to do our first uh, two races for the video here. Let's jump straight into it. Here we go for our first race on Spain. Let's go see what we can do with Sainz and Vettel. Sainz on his home ground. We're also trying a tune that I will always, I always want to try this tune in the GP events. And we're going to give it a try here. Uh, 1-4. Nice. Alright, so we're going to give Vettel some boost here. Uh, let's give the Instinct to Vettel. And then we're going to give Signs the Warrior since he's already way out ahead in P1. So we just want Vettel to get some overtaking done. Ah, uh, look at that. Rival starting on hard tires. Whenever you see that good news for you because <laughs> you know your soft tires are just gonna push through just like that now for us to create some distance don't want to create too much distance we just want to create just enough as we don't want the game to think that we are way too far and throw a crash our way you know this game will crash you out So four seconds out from Verstappen. Let's keep a close eye on that timer. Don't want it to be too high. Let's keep it under 10 seconds. Six seconds out. Seven seconds. I'm going to put in our go to pit orders here. So the game know that we're going to go to pit. Nine seconds. All right, let's slow him down there at nine seconds. Yeah, let's keep it right there. Oh, Valtteri Bottas is at nine seconds. So we can boost signs. All right, Bottas is now at 10 seconds. So we can just let him go. Let signs go in. Create a little bit of distance between him and Vettel here so they don't stock. Now to boost Vettel into pit. And we're just gonna cut down signs there. And cut down first Vettel there. And just let them drive. See the time has cut right back down to seven seconds. 
Carter. Still a good lead. Seven seconds. On the rival drivers. On those hards. Haven't gone to pit yet. I guess one is going to go to pit in the fifth. Since we already made our pit stop. It forces the AI cars to alter their strategy if they haven't already got, gone to pit when you pit before them. Yeah, so they're going to go for five lap. One is going to go to pit now in the fifth and the other is going to go to pit in the sixth. We're going to come back in the sixth for our drivers. So we're going to boost from the sixth, seven seconds out. Not bad. We can boost from here and boost from there. Good distance is created between <coughs> both our drivers. Three seconds. And the pit stop is three point something seconds. So we'll stock a little bit. Two seconds now. We see Vettel gaining. So we're going to cut Vettel down here and let three seconds go. 3.3, 3.4. 3.9, 4 seconds, that's good enough. We can boost in Vettel from there. So we don't stock. We see the rival Verstappen running out of tires there. Yep, 3.3. Signs is out. And we could just cut to regular driving from here and go to the finish. Let's get some screenshot for the thumbnail. Yeah, I like to get both drivers in there, so I'm going to try and let uh, Vettel catch up to signs and then we can get that screenshot that one wasn't too good we'll let wait yeah, there we go yeah that one still wasn't too too clear here comes Vettel catching up come on Vettel drive through those back markers here's Carlos All right, there we go. So we just got a nice few. Uh, the thing blocked it. Let's get up that one. Come on. Nice and clear. Great. All right. So first one, two for us. We're doing one more race. And as you know, if you can qualify on 47 times one, I'll go for 47 times one. If you cannot qualify on 47 times one, then go for the lowest amount of points you can, the lowest amount of 47s you can qualify on. That's the next best thing. All right, so if you cannot qualify on 47 times one, the next option is to try and qualify on 47 times two. If that gets kicked out, the next option is to try and qualify on 47 times three. All right. Here we go for our next race on Mexico. We got the same rival that we just raced. So let's see what qualifiers bring here. Nice and cloudy. 12% chance of rain, no rain. Nice, one, two, this time around. Pulled it off, rival was using Hamilton and Verstappen. Same drivers he was using before, Hamilton and Verstappen. All right, we're gonna give Warrior and we're going to give signs the instinct since he's behind here and we're just going to do the same strategy we just did three laps of full boost and then come back for three laps of conserve and then go back to full boost here at mexico signs basically almost crashed out there <laughs> Vettel gave him a bad corner. He was following Vettel. Vettel just dipped in the corner. He didn't know what to do after almost crashing out. Let's get a screenshot while they're close. There we go. Nice and close. So we get that nice screenshot right there. So we're going to put in our go-to-pit orders now. 
So we have good distance here. Six seconds this time around. <coughs> we haven't, uh, we aren't gaining too much as the rival is on soft tires. So he's following as we're stopping. Eight seconds. We have enough time to get a free pit stop with both our drivers though. Compared to the rival Verstappen pit time, we could stock also. That's three seconds. It's going to cost us seven seconds to stock, and we were in an eight second lead. So, yeah, there we go. Came back to hard tire, so he's not going back to pit. He's going to the end on those hard, so we're going to keep our drivers on regular driving here. We have the extra fuel. This is why I use these two boosts. Have to give me that extra fuel. So we can uh, make use of that. All right. So we'll cruise now for three laps and then come back in the six. Hamilton going to be going for five laps. Let's see the time we have 10 seconds. All right. So nice little distance so we can go in and get a free pit stop. Seven seconds on the second car. So we're going to boost from here and here with both our drivers. We have like three seconds in between both our drivers. Two seconds, 2.8. Uh, 2.5, it's going down fast. What's up with Vettel? He's not gaining. Signs is just catching up. Let's cut down Signs and let that time go back up to three point something seconds. So they don't stock when they go to pit. You can go a bit faster. I know that you can go a bit faster, my guy. Come on, get out there. Get out there. There we go. Boost a little. Then we cut down to regular driving. We could boost here because we have like uh, the time is not that high time is nice and close so we, we shouldn't crash <laughs> we shouldn't suffer a crash here whenever your drivers are times seems too far away that's like the time when the game decides to throw a crash your way because you're way 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 too much out in the lead compared to the rival eight seconds out now we're gonna cut down don't want to be too far out and then we see your car has crashed. <laughs> oh man, the car is on fire. And there goes it. Oh, look at that, out of fuel. What the? Man, bro. <laughs> oh man, I'm not even joking, man. What the? Man. Bro, I'm not even joking, bro. Dude, we didn't even see that he was on low. Man, you know what? <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> That's crazy. You know, I'm just not gonna do any more races for today. Uh, even though it's not, it, 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 my average is already destroyed. My 47 average is already through the window. So, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. Let me know down in the comments how you guys are doing in your event. Uh, as you see, another week, another no luck. <laughs> another week out of luck for me. <laughs> oh, man. This is crazy. Uh, but, yeah, let me know down in the comments how you guys did. Use code word out of fuel to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video. Really appreciate you guys so much for all your support. Because I was like, wait, did I just... Looks like, see, I'm talking about crashing. Look at that, my driver crash out of fuel. Man. All right, guys, catch you in the next one. Peace. All good, guys. Bye.